When you create an image of your home, you picture something cozy and livable, right? I don't think the owners of these homes had the word safe in mind. If you had an option to build a house in a city or in the countryside, which would you choose? Whatever answer you chose, I doubt you included building your house on a dangerous cliff or choosing to live in a house in the middle of a lake. As absurd as these things sound, they are all too real varying from the ludicrous to the dangerous and the downright bizarre today we are going to look at the 10 most dangerous homes in the world number 10 Liechtenstein castle germany often hailed as the fairy tale castle of württemberg Liechtenstein castle is a romantic castle built by count wilhelm of württemberg to pay homage to medieval times Liechtenstein Castle is situated on a cliff located near Baden-Württemberg, Germany at an altitude of 817 meters. Historically, there has been an old castle present on this site since around 1200. It fell into ruins after being destroyed during a war in 1311 and again in 1381. The current neo-Gothic style castle was built by Duke Wilhelm of Urach in 1840 to 1842. Today, the castle is still owned by the Dukes of Urach, but its doors are open to visitors. The castle contains a large collection of historic weapons and armor. The special tour, which is not always available, shows the third and fourth floors of the castle with the Count's private bedrooms. Some parts of the castle can be rented for weddings and festivities. Number 9. Hanging Temple, China Why would people want to worship in a temple atop or hanging on a cliff? Does it prove the tremendous heights of their spirituality? Does it draw them closer to their god? That seems to be the case with this temple in China. The Hanging Temple or Hanging Monastery is a temple off a cliff about 75 meters or 246 feet above ground near Mount Hang in Hunyan County in China's Shaanxi province. The construction was built during the Northern Wei Dynasty between 386 to 557 and has a history of more than 1400 years. It is the only existing temple for Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism in China. The construction counts over 40 halls and more than 80 Buddhist structures made of bronze, iron, stone, and mud. The scientifically designed and skillfully built temple is described as odd hovering, and wonderful. Completely constructed on the cliff, it seems that the wood structure is supported by the beams inserted into chiseled holes in the cliff, but in fact, some of the beams don't bear its load at all. Number 8. Takasugi-an, Japan Wow, this building actually sits on trees. Takasugi-an literally translates as a tea house built too high. Located in Nagano, Japan, the tea house was built atop two chestnut trees cut from nearby mountains and transported to the site. Architect Terunobu Fujimori designed and built this single room structure for his own use. It is accessible only by freestanding ladders propped up against the trees and features an interior covered with plaster and bamboo mats. Its extreme compactness, which would at most accommodate four and a half tatami mats, 2.7 square meters, or even just two tatami mats, 1.8 square meters of floor space, makes it feel as though it were an extension of one's body, like a piece of clothing. Following this tradition, Fujimori decided to build a humble tea house for himself and by himself over a patch of land that belonged to his family. Number 7. Meteora Monasteries, Greece Meteora literally means hovering in the air in Greek. The Meteora Monasteries are a cluster of medieval monasteries and one of the largest and most important complexes of Eastern Orthodox monasteries in Greece. Located atop towering natural rock piles, 24 monasteries were constructed during the 15th century, despite incredible difficulties. Now, there are only six of them in use. Until a little under a hundred years ago, people could only reach the steep cliffs in a hanging basket or by climbing flimsy rope ladders. Today, they can be easily accessed through roads, steps, and bridges. Number 6. Thousand Islands, St. Lawrence River Just off Highway 401 in Ontario, Canada, a rugged wilderness area carved by receding glaciers more than 12,000 years ago marks the international border between the United States and Canada. 
Exactly 1,846 islands poke above the surface of the St. Lawrence River, making an incredibly unique landscape for travelers wandering off Canada's well-trod tourist path. In the late 19th century, a thousand islands drew upper-crust travelers from New York, Chicago, and Cleveland, who all viewed the region as their own exclusive summer retreat. Hence the grand hotels and luxury steamboat tours that once crowded the shores of the St. Lawrence. Today, visitors can still admire the opulent 120-room, five-building compound commissioned by millionaire and Waldorf Astoria proprietor George Bolt. The palatial home occupies a heart-shaped island on the New York side and can be rented out for weddings and private events. Number 5. Castefoyet de la Roca, Spain Castefoyet de la Roca looks like a town that was once a normal shape and by some incredible force stretched over a kilometer-long basalt formation. Houses are pushed precariously close to the edge of a 160-foot drop-off cliff. The town's narrow streets still carry the characteristics of its medieval origin. The city center features ramparts that fortified the town during the Civil War. The main streets of Castillo push winds through the entire town, narrowly pressed between houses on both sides. Straining to remain on the cliff face formed by two overlapping lava flows, the area is home to abundant geological activity. The houses are alarming both for their precarious placement and their sheer age. Many doubt that the town would survive even a minor earthquake. Nonetheless, they are still inhabited and serve as a major tourist attraction near Valencia, Spain. From its peak on the layered volcanic formation, the town offers stunning views. Number 4. Sutjagen House, Russia This building had to make the list, even if it's no more. Sutjagen House was a wooden house built by a Russian businessman, Nikolai Petrovich Sutjagen, over a time span of 15 years, starting in 1992. Even though the building only had two stories, the roof spanned 11 to 15 stories more, making it the world's, or at least Russia's, highest wooden house. The skyscraper's neighbors, however, had a rather different perspective on it. In 2008, the tower was condemned as a fire hazard, and part of it was pulled down by the local government. The remaining four-story structure ironically burned to the ground on May 6, 2012. Number 3. Astra Tower, Germany Here is another place of worship. Built in the mid-13th century, the Astra Tower is a church in Hamburg, Germany. Its 27.43-meter or 90-feet-high spire made from oak was added to the structure in 1450. Since then, the spire began to tilt because of the oak material and the wet foundation. Great efforts were made until the spire was finally fastened in 1996. Today, the church is still in use and open to the public as a tourist site. One of Hamburg's tallest buildings, the Astra Tower with its quadratic floor plan captures the eye. Extensive use of glass creates a transparent appearance, and the narrow ceramic bands of NBK turret large panels delineate the boundaries between individual and floor. Number 2. Puerta de Europa, Spain Located in Madrid, Spain, the Puerta de Europa, or Gate of Europe, is a structure composed of two identical tilted towers. The structure was built between 1889 and 1996 as a joint project between an American and Spanish architectural firms. Each building has 26 floors, a vertical of 114 meters, or 374 feet, with a 15-degree incline towards the other. The West Tower has a rooftop helicopter pad outlined in blue, whereas the East Tower has a red one. The towers played a key role in the 1995 movie The Day of the Beast, the climax of which took place on one of the then nearly completed towers. They are also seen on an episode of Mickey and the Roadsters Race. The racers must collect a flag from the top of the towers in Running of the Roadsters Episode 5B. Number 1. Wozoko Apartments, Holland this is the only apartment building on our list, so you can call it the most dangerous apartment building in the world. Built between 1994 and 1997 in a garden city west of Holland's capital, Amsterdam, the Wozoko apartments have been home to private residents for over 35 years. 
The original plan limited the number of apartments to 87 units per block, with each tenant being promised good natural lighting. However, the client's requests later changed to 100 units per block. To avoid occupying more land, 13 additional units were hung from the facade north of the main structure. That wraps up this list of the 10 most dangerous homes in the world. Can you live in any of these dangerous homes? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.